We're up to another part of our conversation with Felix Cavallari, our second conversation with him. And this time around, we talk about an update on one of the members, Gene Cornish, and his health. The new book is Felix Cavallari, Memoir of a Rascal. There'll be links in the description of this video where you can pick it up. And if you want to see the long version of this video, you can see the entire thing via the link in the description of this video. Uh, how, how's Gene, by the way? How, how is he doing? Well, health, health. Uh, you know, he's another Canadian. You know, my, my friend there from Ottawa. Ottawa, is that the correct pronunciation? Yeah. Uh, uh, he, he's had a tough time. Uh, he's okay, but he's not okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he had a heart attack, as you know, on the road, yeah. on stage. And uh, the good thing is, is that you know he's a, he's he's a perennial Yankee fan, and and the Yankees happen to be doing well this year, so he's really happy. So the 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 the, the chance of uh, the four guys getting together on stage that, that that's probably not going to happen, is it? Health wise, if nothing else. Yeah. yeah, you know, it, 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 we passed the point of uh, that, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah we passed that. I, I tried to do it in 2019. That's when he got he, he fell on the stage. I tried to do it because uh, I had just done a, a tour of Hawaii. As a matter of fact, I just came back now. And uh, they, they begged us. They begged me, can you come one more time? One more time. And I, I really, really felt, you know, why not, man? I mean, my God, it's, first of all, it's Hawaii. Second of all, they adored us there. Well, I tried. I couldn't put it together. The only one that I could put it together with uh, was Gene, unfortunately, who, who went down on that uh, tour before we even got there, you know. So it was, it was, it was kind of scary, you know. Well, I was talking to Richie Fure a few days ago, and I, was, I said, um, he laughed. I said, Richie, why are you still alive? And by the way, speaking of Richie, when I asked, I asked Randy Meisner, uh, Jim Messina, Richie Fiore, all three of them separately, why Randy left? And, and to, to, to quote you, all three answers were different. I put them side by side. Exactly. Exactly. That's, that's so funny. You know? Yeah. You know, and, and uh, you, you, you'll have to ask him why he left because he's the yeah. only one that knows. Yeah. Well, I, and I did. Uh, the, uh, for you, why? Well, like I asked Richie, I said, Richie, he didn't get involved in all that stuff or got himself out with the bad stuff in rock and roll, the win in Rome stuff that all rockers do. Why do you think you're, you're one of the, the guys that's still standing? And, and, and I know autobiography of a yogi is going to come up because you and I both love that. But why do you think you're still here and, in hel and healthy? You got it, man. You know, I, during that period of time, there was a movement you know, which I actually, you know, was was kind of created by Maharishi and the Beatles to uh, join uh, into a spiritual uh, pursuit. Uh, in this case, yoga. Very simple. You know, what you learn, mental, physical, spiritual health. So if you got those three things uh, under control, or as much under control as we can, you'll never get your mind under control unless you're a yogi for real, real, real. But bottom line is you're OK. You know, uh, if you don't do those things and you're exposed to life, especially life in the rock and roll world, you know, you, you have problems. And, you know, like, unfortunately, my 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 past group, you know, is living proof of that. I mean, their health is not that great. And uh, so, you know, I, 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 I really attest it to a good upbringing because family has a lot to do with it. If your family teaches you right you got a good chance, you know what I'm saying? And then also, if you're fortunate enough to join something like a yoga a group, et cetera, you'll be all right. If you would have become a doctor, I think you would have been a singing doctor in the OR. I get a, a singing feeling. singing doctor, yeah. I mean, I, I, I look at, I, I see so many videos of you, and unfortunately, I've never seen you live, but I've, I watch you and I kept going, you know, because I remember we talked about that the first time we talked, and I'm going, that guy is just meant to sing, but... If he was a doctor, he'd be singing in the OR. <laughs> singing doctor, there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, I, 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 I ran into somebody who actually does that. He's a, he's an MD, you know, surgeon, and you know, he sings quietly or he has earphones and listens to great stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a healing art. I really believe that music is a healing art as well.
Remember, the new book from Felix Cavalieri is Memoir of a Rascal, available now. There'll be links in the description where you can pick it up. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. We'd appreciate that. Like them as well. We also like that. And share them in the appropriate groups on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you like. This is John Bowden. This is Rock History Book.